I was pregnant with my first child and we went in for an induction. Uh, we had a little date night, cute times, enjoyed it, getting ready for our family of three. And we went into dinner, came out, went into the hospital, and that's really all I remember until I woke up two weeks later. It was about five o'clock and our emergency light went off. And when I looked at the screen, I was kind of shocked because I was like, that's my patient. Um, and when you hear that, you take off down the hallway, get into the room, see what's going on. And then the baby monitors kind of crashed. And that's when anesthesia and all of us decided this is a C-section now, we're going. The rapid response team met us in the hallway as we're already running down. And when we got back there, uh, Megan lost her heart rate. We got Megan under anesthesia. We got baby out very quickly. At that time, again, Megan started to lose her heart. Started CPR right away on her. Started CPR on baby. We resuscitated Megan. We got a pulse, and once we could get Megan stable, we took her to the ICU. I found out I'm gonna get a mother coming down who'd had an emergency cesarean section, um, had coded during it, and that's about what we knew at that point. Vital signs were as stable as they could have been at that time, but quickly they started to change. Um, her vital signs started to trend downwards, heart rate went up, blood pressure went down, and um, we knew at that point how serious this was. She received over 100 units of blood. Um, she went into what we know as DIC, which is just very serious, um, had several surgeries. Myself and one other nurse went to the OR with them to continue running our rapid transfuser during the operation. And when we came back from the operation and um, a lot of that blood was stopped and relieved from her abdomen, her vital signs started to um, stabilize at that moment. And at that moment, at the end of my shift, I felt like things were going uphill, that we were making a turn and she was gonna be, she was gonna turn out all right. And a month later, she got discharged from the hospital, which is kind of a miracle. It was determined that she had an amniotic fluid embolism which is very rare. Um, I had never seen it before. Very serious, very scary, but I think our team handled it very well. Here I am four months later, no defects. I'll make a full recovery. My healthy son is here and he's showing no signs of any defects at all. A million things could have gone wrong and everyone did everything right. I saw the heart and soul of caring with my teammates in the ICU, um, labor and delivery nurses, the doctors, everyone working in a room together to really care for an individual like it was their own family member. When we left that day, we all hugged each other and just a sense of relief when we knew she had stabilized and it was remarkable. As a nurse, we you know, commit our career to helping others and in that particular situation, it was a matter of not only are we trying to save mom, but we're trying to save an unborn child as well. Everyone was just so compassionate and so kind and things that you wouldn't expect people to do for you, they did, they went above and beyond and thought of you as a whole person rather than just, oh, you're a patient. No matter how many times I asked for things or, you know, needed something, they were always, yes, no problem. Whatever you needed, they were there. I can't even explain how amazing they are. I don't think I'll ever go anywhere else.